before I write any code and was still learning about headings, so I always suggest to install this extension, Headings Map, which will see me using it in this lesson. Okay, let's just first open a website, opera.com, and we'll try to analyze it by using this extension. Okay, once we just install the extension, you will have an icon right here. Just click on that. Then you will have a structure here. And from this structure, you'll find out that there is some numbers, one, two, and three. And what this numbers means exactly, so they are structured by the most important of the most significant heading okay let's just click on this first one and you will see that i have to move the way you want this is the only title that have one why because this is the most important title of the most significant heading on this page now let's just show this one and two and three what they are exactly from the code right click then inspect let's just move that to the right by clicking here go to the right now click here to select an element from the page and go to the title and if we take a look this is an h1 and these numbers are used for the heading so one means h1 two means h2 and the ones on green they are h3 as already said it depends on the importance okay if we take the same one here and go to another title you will see that this is an h2 and if we go to the next one you will see that this is an h3 let's analyze another website by using the same extension okay you click on the extension to show the outlines or to show the structure then you open developer tools by clicking on inspect what do we have from the structure we have only one and multiple tools which means only an each one now let's just select that to see that this is the one each one and the others are each choose okay let's just go to them just click here and go here and you'll see that this is an h2 but why we have in the structure if we just take a look at the website you will see that this article is the most important one this is why they used each one for this specific article but for the other ones they are the less significant and this is why we have choose. And to summarize all of that, headings are used to highlight the most important information on a website. And they use some levels. So we'll start from H1 to H6. The most important information will use the H1 and the list one will use the H6. And we'll move the code and we'll see how you can write that. And the structure is used for the user in order to see the most important information on the page. And not only for the user, but also for search engines. So to know what is the most important information on a website. Okay, let's just write the code. We'll go for the first one which is h1 so left angle bracket and h1 and we'll close that by using the right angle bracket and we use the title for example this most important title this is the most important title and we close that by using again the left angle bracket and the name of the element and the right angle bracket and a forward slash to close the tag press the page and we have this is the most important title okay let's just add another title by using the same hidden but now we're using each two title two. Okay, let's just copy that and do the other titles quickly. Okay, refresh the page and you will see that we have six titles, which means six levels. And if we take a look here, we have the each one, which is the most significant one that has the bigger or the larger size. And for the less significant one, which is the H6, and this is the one which is the smallest one. But just take on mind, so I'm not using HTML to control the size of this heading. You can control all of that by using another language, which is CSS that can help you to control the size.